When working with teams, it can be hard to collaborate and manage deadlines without feeling overwhelmed. Thankfully, there are plenty of task management solutions to help you stay on track. Hey everyone, I'm Meredith and in this video we'll be taking a look at Trello, a popular task management platform that uses a Kanban-based approach to help users visually organize and prioritize projects. Trello stands out from other task and workflow management tools due to a few smart features like Butler. Butler is an automation tool in Trello that lets you automate a number of commands, including card and board buttons, scheduled commands, and due date commands. Depending on how you configure commands, you can use Butler to automatically mark cards as finished on a certain date, check items off a card's checklist, or remove members from a card. Automation saves you from having to click and drag cards around so much, but it also helps workflows and processes run like clockwork to prevent mistakes. All users can build commands with Butler by filling out the command building window. Trello also comes with the ability to archive cards. Archiving cards declutters your board without deleting old cards, which means that you can always access information if you need to look back. You can also move archived cards back to the main board if you decide to revisit a project. Using Butler, you can automatically archive cards on a certain date and time. You can also designate a label or a list to be automatically archived. The card aging feature provides a visual cue notifying you to check in on neglected cards. Card aging highlights cards that you haven't opened in a while, which helps to keep important tasks from getting lost in the shuffle and small tasks from collecting dust. The longer a card goes without being opened, the more it fades. Opening or updating a card returns it to its normal state, but a card left unattended for more than four weeks will enter pirate mode. This is when cards turn yellow and crack like an old pirate map. Card aging is optional, so if you have primarily evergreen cards without strict deadlines, you might not benefit as much from this specific feature. Just like many task and project management tools, Trello lets you add color-coded labels to cards. Labels can help organize projects and deadlines, adding clarity and structure to cards without making them look cluttered. You can get creative with labels, but some people use them to prioritize tasks, organize cards by team, and catalog cards by subject. There's even a colorblind friendly mode, which adds a design on top of the selected color. One of the biggest pros of Trello is the easy to use and simple user interface. Beginners are quick to get the hang of Trello, so you can hit the ground running without spending hours on training. And another pro is that Trello offers a free plan with basic features. If you need even more functionality, you can always upgrade to one of the two paid plans. Trello works great for simple projects and workflows, but keep in mind that it was not designed for full-scale project management. So if you need a system with more functionality, check out our video of the best project management software for some tips on how to get started. Hopefully this review gave you a better idea about whether or not Trello is right for you. But if you're still not sure, click the link in the description below for more tips on task management tools. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more project management software videos, and we'll see you next time. Bye!